Watford have started well this season under Marco Silva. They are a physical, energetic side driven by two genuine box-to-box -box midfielders in Abdoulaye Ducouré and Etienne Capou. The team have lined up as a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-3-3. The difference comes largely in Tom Cleverley's position. In the 4-3-3, he lines up in the midfield, largely on the right of the three, with a remit to push up into the hole, but with a greater defensive role than in the 4-2-3-1. Cleverly is a decent passer of the ball, although Roberto Pereira is a more natural creator. But Silva wants energy and snappy tackling from his side, and Cleverly is more robust in that regard, and less likely to get sent off. The heartbeat of the team is the midfield pairing of Ducore and Capu. It must be said that Nathaniel Chalaba is a very decent fit in that central axis also, bringing probably a better range of passing than the other two. All are similar types of player, however, capable of picking a long pass, bursting towards the edge of the box to strike, and able to run between boxes, winning the ball back and releasing others just as they can pass and move themselves. Watford play with width, inviting the fullbacks to push up significantly. It's worth recalling that Jose Holobas, one of the two first choice fullbacks, often played as a wing back or even a wide midfielder under Walter Mazzari, and it shows he gets forward often and well. Kiko Femenia, who has the distinction of having played for Barcelona and Real Madrid's B teams in adjoining seasons, but neither first team, is similarly capable of getting up the pitch. They do this to create short passing triangles with their flanks centre back and midfielder circulating the ball within their half until the chance to move it quickly forwards occurs. Fermania and Holobas play quite close to their wingers, generally Andre Carrillo on the right and the revelatory Richarlison on the left. The Brazilian winger has been superb, not just in his creativity and scoring, but his tackling and general effort around the pitch. He's made 2.9 tackles per game this season so far, as well as scoring three goals and managing an assist, which is superb for an attacking player. This facilitates Watford's aim in possession, to spread the pitch as wide as possible while retaining possession in their half before bursting forwards. In aid of this approach, Cleverley's role in the attacking midfield position is largely, especially in away games, to switch the play from left to right or vice versa as rapidly as possible. He is the axis around which Watford move rapidly from one side to the other, while allowing their central midfield axis either to sit and protect or to burst up in support once the ball is wide. Watford use their strikers Andre Gray or Troy Deeney to disrupt opposition defences as much as anything. Deeney especially, although he's not started so much this season, is a physical presence adept at dropping off to win aerial balls and allowing the wide players to run onto his flick-ons. Gray is more of a poacher, an excellent finisher with speed, but little in the way of an all-round game. His runs across the box pull defenders around though, which leaves room for Richarlison and even the box-to-box -box midfielders to push up and shoot. Watford's goals have mostly come from runs into the penalty box or shots from the edge, for example onto knockdowns or poor clearances after driving runs from deep. They create space by making full use of the width of the pitch, moving the ball horizontally at speed and using their strikers to disrupt the opposition defensive line. Defensively, this means that Watford sometimes struggle to get back into position, and concerted counter-attacks at speed are effective, causing Watford to foul or concede as they rush back to get into a defensive posture. Manchester City also showed the benefit of overloading on one flank against Watford, channeling most of their attacks into the right half space. They prevented Watford from attacking down their most dangerous flank, which also meant that they bunched over more to the left to try to thwart City's attacks, robbing the Hornets of their most potent asset, width. But that defeat aside, Marco Silva has got Watford playing well. A dynamic side who play to their strengths, have several players in excellent form and an astute manager who is proving last season's critics very, very wrong. People often ask us where we get our stats for these videos. Uh, a great place to start is the OneFootball app. The app offers a fairly comprehensive statistical coverage of teams and players in-game and post-match, so there's a link in the description of this video if you'd like to download it. Thanks for watching.